WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. This is Basil Chapman. This is Monday, the uh, 12th of uh, June, and we're looking at this 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. We're looking at the Dow up 44. Uh, I've got the diamonds here just to show you. This is, I, I haven't got the Dow itself, but it's the same chart pattern. So it's very, this is a cup formation. We're going to see how it deals with the left side high. And then, of course, we've got the S&P and the S&P right now. The Dow made a new recovery high above Friday's high. And that really is very, very nice to see because that extends our leg C in the Chapman Wave methodology. There should still be a peak C and then a leg D. Then we've got to be careful because there could be a sharper pullback. The S&P right now is up nine. Here's the chart of the SPY. You can see it on Friday went to a higher high. Today is stalling just a little bit. Uh, we've also got the QQQ. Uh, I'm going to do this right now because the Nasdaq Composite is trading up 63. Good action today, but still under Friday's high. So we're going to be watching that. Is there going to be a slowing down of this upside momentum? And that's a big question because if you look at the IWM, the IWM was actually very weak. The Russell 2000 small caps very weak on uh, on Friday. And today they're coming back a little bit. Today they are up. The IWM, the Russell 2000, is below Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday. Yeah, so Wednesday's high. If I just get that to move, there we go. We're looking at today's high of, uh, so the high on, on Wednesday was 187.77. Today's high is 186.68. Not that much lower, but it is lower. But today so far, it is up 73 cents. Uh, that's good. Trading right now at 185.76. So this pattern, I like this pattern. If there's a break to the upside, this kind of little mini down channel, whew, that'll be great. If it's a, there's a close this week above 188.20, 187.77 was the high of last week. That's going to be very good action. Say, hey, the IWM could be taking somewhat of a lead for a change. We'll be watching that closely. The TLT, and that's bonds. Bonds are not doing all that great. They are down again, so yields are moving up, but not by much. So it's minus 43, not a big deal, 101.49. But that 99 to 98 support this week is going to be absolutely imperative. Watch for looking at the GDX, which is the GDX is the gold miners. Benek gold miners ETF trading down here at 30.96. So all in all, as we're looking at then the GLD, 